Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet my casual Friday handbag. To do this, I'm using two skeins of Crafty Yarn by Premier Yarns, but you can use 140 yards of any super bulky weight yarn. Or you can use three or four strands of regular worsted weight held together. A size N crochet hook. And I like these wooden purse handles. You can find the written pattern on my website, Nastasia.com. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 23. If you need help with the basics of crochet, please see my beginner videos on YouTube. For row one, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Single crochet in every stitch across. Your first row should measure about 12 inches. If not, start over and either add or subtract some starting chains. For rows 2 to 12, chain 1 and single crochet in each stitch across. The bottom of this handbag is basically a rectangle. After 12 rows, the height should be around 6.5 inches. You can add more or less rows if you wish. Next, we're going to form the sides of the purse, working in rounds. We will place two single crochet stitches in each corner and one single crochet along each of the four edges. I'm putting two single crochets in my first corner. Pivot and work on the edge now with one single crochet in each stitch. I like to trace my row upwards to know where to put the single crochet. This corner will have two and then this edge will have one single crochet in each stitch. Another corner with two single crochet stitches. And proceed around with one each on this edge. For rounds 2 to 15, we're just going to do one single crochet around and around in a spiral. Always mark that first stitch. Just keep going around and around. Your purse should start to curl on you. This is good. After the last round, this is what your purse should look like. Eventually, we'll pinch these edges together to form the shape of the purse. For inside support, I like to cut a piece of either plastic canvas or a plastic folder to fit the bottom of the purse. This makes it a bit more stable on the bottom. You can also put a piece on each of the longer sides. If you'd like to line your bag and don't mind crocheting again, make another purse the same size using worsted weight yarn. Insert it and stitch it to this outer purse. Or you can do what I like to do and use craft felt. It doesn't fray, is very strong, is inexpensive, and whip stitches nicely to this yarn. To finish this handbag, we're first going to mark all four corners, and then crochet in the first marked stitch. Reach over and then single crochet in the second marked stitch, pinching the side together. Just do one single crochet along the next straight edge.
Repeat the pinching process for the other side edge. And then continue on with single crocheting. If you wish, add a chain in the middle of this edge for your buttonhole. Slip stitch to the very first stitch. I like to weave in my ends using a smaller crochet hook instead of a needle. Sew on your button and handles and your handbag is complete. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description or the info button of this video for more information, and please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.